the Crescent City is always full of exciting affairs. Award-winning journalist and social media influencer Casey Ferrand has entertaining conversations about the people, places, and events in the greater New Orleans area so you can stay in the know. Hey, I'm Casey Ferran, and this is In The Know. Today, I am here with Frankie Smith, an up-and-coming local actor here in New Orleans who has actually been featured in a number of films and TV shows. But today, we want to talk about a new show, that you, a new movie that you're mm -hmm. actually in, coming out in October. It's called Black and Blue, starring Tyrese and Naomi Harris. Tell me a little bit about the character you play and kind of what the movie's about. Okay, I play Tez, who is the computer geek, a part of Mike Coulter's uh, little drug gang. Um, my job is to hack into things. And the, the story follows Naomi Harris, who is a rookie cop. She witnesses some, you know, corruption within uh, her police force, and she captures it all on her body camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, her job, well, what she's trying to do is prove her innocence with um, this crime that these corrupt cops say she commits and this gang who wants to kill her because we think that she's guilty of this said crime. Right, she's stuck in an extremely tough position. Yeah, she gets shot at a lot. She gets shot at a lot. <laughs> do you get shot at in this movie? I do. You I, do? I do, and it was so cool. It was so much fun. It, <laughs> it was, was so, just like hearing like the pops and stuff, because they had to prepare us, you know, like uh -huh. give us earplugs and stuff, but it was, it was a lot of fun. How does a computer geek get shot at? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you have to see, you have to see. <laughs> but, um, so this movie, being on set with these actors, tell me some of the other people who were in the movie with you. Uh, Nafisa Williams, uh, Lucky Johnson, who is a local actor here, Mike Coulter, who plays Luke Cage. Um, those were the main actors, uh, along with Naomi and Tyrese. They were, all, they were on set with us a couple of days. Uh, those are the main actors who I worked with. Mm -hmm. And they were, um, they were chill, really yeah. down-to-earth people. And Nafisa, Nafisa was real sweet. She gave me some words of wisdom. And she's from Black Thunder? Yeah, uh, Black Lightning. Black, not, Black she Lightning. plays the character Thunder okay, on yes, the show. She has like it. super strength on the show. And uh, Naomi Harris, she was, she was a sweetheart. And she gave me some words of wisdom pursuing a career into acting and not letting fame, you know, uh, change you for the negative. Right, but you told me you actually had a crush on her growing up. I was up. gonna keep that to myself. No, no, we're gonna, we gonna give it all. You well, yeah, when I was, you know, I was a little teenager watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, my brothers always played that movies when we shared uh, a room and I did, you know, develop a little, a little crush, but I kept it professional. Of course, <laughs> you didn't set. ask for the number. Or no, no, no. Autograph? No, you don't want to come off as fans. Right. You know, you're, you're working with these people. You want to be professional. Right, and you know? you're, you're a professional actor as well. Yeah. Um, this movie is thrilling. It's going to be fun for fans to see. So oh, yeah. let's take a quick peek at the trailer so people can get an idea of what it's about. Okay. You think you're black? You're blue now. Let me ask you a question. You think you're black? I want to sleep. You think them your people? I want to sleep. Well, they're not. Anticipated. We are. Did you ever forget that? These streets are a war zone. You're blue now. I gotta meet a CI. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. where are you going? Stay in the car. Listen, you already got rid of everyone that could talk. What the hell are you doing here, rookie? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just relax. We're all cops here. This isn't what it looks like. What the hell did you do? She had a body cam on! But we got a ghost! She's gone! Find her! Help! I think shot. And you gonna bring her to my son? Ain't nothing for you in here! Hey, yeah. Let's get you out of here. We got her. Don't be stupid. All he wants is the body cam. Peace, I've been shot. What? You can't be in here with this. The police, they'll help you. It was the cops that shot me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. She cannot get back to the precinct to upload the footage on that camera. My cup runneth over. Every cop and criminal in this city is coming to find her. I want her dead. The Lord. Put everybody on him. You got a price on your head. What you gonna do? I'm gonna expose him. 
they erase the system. All of this will be for nothing. This is your plan? We're still alive, aren't we? You got a hard choice to make right now. Are you one of us, or are you one of them? She picked her side. I walk, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Murder is murder. Don't matter who you are. I will fear no evil. So we got to see a little bit of you in that yeah, trailer. For like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in the, the, the amazing thing is your career has blossomed. You're not just getting little one, one line speaking roles. You're getting like great character roles yeah. in these movies that you're playing. And talk about that. Oh, I'm so grateful for the roles that I've, I've gotten. Um, when you when you get that call, when you go on these auditions and, you know, as an actor, you go on so many auditions and you pray to hear something good. You pray to at least get a call back. But once you get that call, like, Frank, you got the part, Frank, you booked it. It's like I'm on a I'm on a high. Um, and then the, the, the work that I have gotten where I've been able to build a resume from and, you know, producers and directors have been able to see. And it's even gotten to the point where sometimes they just look at my reel and they're like, you know, I want to work him. with that mm -hmm. actor without me having to audition. That's awesome. Or I don't want to see any other actors besides this kid, you know, audition. That's what happened with me for Black and Blue. Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for the roles that I've gotten. It's what just, are some of the other roles you've played? Uh, the first big role I got was Roots, um, the, the remake of Roots that came out in 2015. Uh, with Bruce Beresford was uh, the director for that, and I, I love that guy. He really fought for me to get that job. And after that, I did a movie called Heart Baby, directed by Angela Shelton, and it tells a story of this uh, undefeated uh, boxer in prison from mm -hmm. the 80s who was offered the chance to uh, play in the Olympics. And I played the 17-year-old version um, okay. of him when he was in his detention center. And after that was Mudbound, which came out in 2017, and it tells a story of uh, a black and white soldier from World War II mm -hmm. who come back home to America, and they deal with you know, post-traumatic stress and racism. And I play the uh, younger brother of Jason Mitchell's uh, character, mm -hmm. who is one of the leads in the film. And after that was Jeepers Creepers 3, where uh, I die. <laughs> a very, very cool death. So you have actually died in a movie. Yeah, I've always wanted to die. Because <laughs> one of my friends, like, he, he gets shot or killed in almost everything that he's in, and it looks cool. Like, he died in Roots. And I was like, I want to know, you know what that feels like. And he was like, it's not really all it's cracked up to be. But I was mm -hmm. like, I want to give it a shot anyway. And my death scene was the, the creeper throws a spear at me. It goes through me and it hits my friend and we get stuck to so a tree. So two people die? Yeah, so yeah, he got two for the price of one. Were you the first black person to die in the movie? <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I was. The stereotypical. Oh yeah, somebody got to be a stereotype. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get paid to be the stereotype. You've been at this for years though. I mean, your first big role was in 2015. Yeah, in But roots. you've been working in, at your craft since about how old? At, Six, 15, 16 years yeah. old, yeah. So you started in youth theater. Yeah, at the Anthony Bean Community Theater. Um, I learned a lot there as an actor because I was around so many so many good actors. And, and the thing that I liked about Anthony Bean was he required us to come up with our own routines when it comes to talent shows, monologues, and scenes. We had to write all of our own stuff. Mm -hmm. And we'd have, we would have to direct our friends if they were part of any of our little skits. And I really enjoyed that as an actor. And, um, you know, I have, I have great memories uh, yeah. from those years. And then you went on to uh, Carr and were in the yeah. drama club there and then ended up going to UNO. Were you planning on majoring in theater? Yeah, I was majoring in theater and film. Uh, unfortunately and fortunately, I didn't finish. I decided I, I didn't want to, you know, stay in, in school and develop any kind of debt. So you dropped out yeah, to become I'm, a working actor. Yeah, I'm a college dropout, but now I'm a working actor. <laughs> <laughs> so thank, thankfully, it all, worked, uh, it all worked in my favor, but it did take it did take time and, and years and prayers, mm -hmm. you know, for me to get to where I'm, I'm at now. And your mom threatening you to, to put you in military or something. Yeah, my mom was not happy to have a, a, her oldest son be, you know, the first dropout because my sisters, they were all, you know, in college doing their thing. And I was the next one in line and I decided I wasn't really going to finish. And she was like, yeah, well, you're going to join the military because <laughs> you're not going to be a bum. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to, I'm not going to be a bum. So... My father was like, you know, just get a job, you know, work, get some money and go after your dreams. And and eventually my mom, you know, got the idea. Frankie's not going back to college. Mm -hmm. And when Roots came along, you know, she was she's nothing but supportive now. I mean, she was supportive then. But, you know, parents, they worry and they want nothing but the best. So I understood. Uh, 
But it was a decision I'm, I'm glad that yeah. I did make. What did that process look like for you in the beginning when you were still trying to book those roles and auditioning and being told no and no, no? It, could, it, was, it was disheartening um, at times because, again, you go on so many. And especially when you get those calls like, oh, freaky, you got a call back. Like the director, you know, really, really likes you. And you go in and you don't hear anything. And you find out, you know, they started filming without you. Um, so it's very disheartening, but again, like I said, it took a lot of prayer and it took a lot of faith because yeah. I knew that this was what I wanted to do. So during the time, the quiet time, I was just you know working little odd jobs here and there. You know, thankfully I was always able to keep a job and get mm -hmm. a job and have money coming in to support you know acting classes, to support headshots, to support gas money to go to auditions and things like that. But uh, I definitely, my advice to anyone you know that wants to go and be an actor and they're thinking about dropping out is have definitely have a plan b mm -hmm. find something else that you have interest in that's going to definitely keep money in your pocket and it's going to keep you um keep your mind active because sometimes you know sitting at home and the phone isn't going off it can be again disheartening and very depressing but keep find find other interests find other hobbies especially mm -hmm. things to to add to your to your resume yeah because I, I have bass playing skills that I add to my resume. I, I know how to swim on roots. I learned how to uh, drive a little uh, little buggy carriage that's in the quarters. Yeah. So I could be one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> With the there. carriage driver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So develop develop other talents um, in the meantime while you're waiting on those calls. Awesome. So if people want to catch this movie, it's coming out in October, right? October 25th. Awesome. Yes. So Black and Blue starring Tyrese, Naomi Harris. Um, he plays the computer geek. Yes. I'm excited to see how you develop that character because that's a new one for you, right? Yes, yes. It, it, it is uh, very new. And this is the first movie that I've done in present day because everything Mudbound was <laughs> slavery times. Uh, no, Mudbound was in the 40s. Roots was slavery yeah. times. Heart Baby, I was in the 70s. So I was wearing bell bottoms and a, a little afro. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one, I'm glad that I finally made it. Yeah. to our century, to 2019. <laughs> Sir, you're in 2019. Yeah. Who else, um, who have been some of your influences in your career? Oh, my number one influence is my sister, Lindsay, because she's an actress. Okay. And she was the one that, that got me interested in acting. Um, she went to Lusher and going to see her plays and when she was in middle school. The first, I remember she was, uh, she was performing in a play and afterwards, like my dad had this big old bouquet of flowers and everyone was saying, oh, Lindsay, you were amazing. Congratulations, stuff like that. And I was like, I want that attention. You, you, I just want the attention. You don't do it for the craft and the art? <laughs> well, when I was little, <laughs> when I was little, I was like, I'm one of seven. So, oh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of easy to get lost, in, yeah, the lost in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, I want the spotlight to be on me. But after, you know, growing up and realizing hey, this is this is really, really fun, you know, minus the attention. I mean, the attention is nice and all, but the the how creative I get to be and playing somebody else, bringing somebody else to life. Yeah. That's really, you know, what I enjoy. So Lindsay is my um my inspiration and she's she's working now she's uh pretty busy yeah she just booked a a, a bet pilot oh shoot i that, know your mom's proud oh yes yes <laughs> thankfully and who else would you you know want to play on screen with oh definitely elijah wood mm -hmm. from lord of the rings i just i just respect his career um he's a great actor and he's he's super famous but you don't see him too much which i think is kind of perfect because sometimes you get you get too close to the people and not you get to know them as a person and then when you see them in a movie it's like wait that's not the person yes I see exactly. in regular life yeah. yeah and he seems like a down-to-earth guy so i would like to work with him richard madden who i'm a huge fan of from game of thrones okay he played rob stark are you a fan of game of thrones no sorry um, i'm like missing, oh okay you're missing out <laughs> sure you're missing rob out. madden yeah i know him <laughs> Well, I would love to work with him, and um, I would love to work with my friends who I've made from projects that I've worked on. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam Malone, uh, Donald Watkins, Carlacy Grant, who played my family in Roots. We are you know, still good friends, and I would love to be on screen with them again. Uh, my friend Mason Guccione, who I played in Heart Baby with, who he played my best friend in Heart Baby, who became my best friend in real life. Oh, so wow. I like to uh, yeah. really reunite, and definitely my sister Lindsay. Yeah. So the people within my circle, What's I would definitely love to... Uh, What's next for me? Uh, Heart Baby uh, is the last project that I did that is on Amazon and iTunes. And I'm uh, the funny thing is, I actually had a, a meeting with one of my producers before about a movie that they're doing about uh, a computer hacker. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, you know, Black and Blue is probably a little you know, test from God to see if I had the hacking yeah. playing skills. So uh, waiting for that to be developed. And um, 
And the going to the Urban World Film Festival, that's where Black and Blue is going to have its uh, first premiere there in September in New York, and then uh, another one in, on the 21st in New York. Awesome. So, yeah. so if people want to keep up with you, where can they follow you? And sign uh, up for? I only have one social media outlet, and that is Instagram, and it is Frankie underscore Smith, S-M-I-T-T. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's about it. That's it. That's where we go. Yeah. So thank you so much for sitting thank down you, and talking with us. Thank you. Um, you guys, make sure you go out and see the movie Black and Definitely. Blue. It's coming out October 25th. 25th. October 25th. See you at the theaters.